department that's been around since near the beginning of CEU's existence and we currently run several programs, two master's programs and a doctoral program at the department. Our two master's programs, one of them is a one-year program that's taught purely at CEU. The other program is a two-year program, this is the MESPOM program, and that one is taught with a number of key partners, notably Lund University in Sweden, the University of Manchester in England, and the University of the Aegean in the island of Lesbos. Another great thing about um, the MESPOM program and the environmental science department is that we had a lot of really great and well-planned, interesting field trips that we got to go on. So we got to learn firsthand about wastewater treatment, water purification processes. Some students went on environmental monitoring field trips where you got to count frogs and check ecosystems. We also got to travel to different places in Hungary as parts of field trips. When we first started the program, we also had um, a bonding field trip at Lake Balaton in Hungary, which was very nice and allowed us to really become a cohesive and collective department. I think as an environmental studies student, you really have to learn about the interdisciplinary and transnational nature of a lot of the environmental issues. And I think the way CEU makes you interact with this as a student is very particular. You don't only learn about these issues from your professors, but you really get to interact with students that come from different backgrounds and different experience levels. So I was friends with students who come from philosophy, psychology, anthropology, engineering, and you really have a very interesting dynamic in the classroom and even outside when you get to learn a lot from the students in this way. Small class sizes simply means that there's more attention that you can get from professors at individual level, which I personally think is really great because at this point when you're doing this master's, you really need a lot of attention in the sense that you have a lot of research going on and in order to expand your capabilities, you need a lot of attention from these professors and that's exactly what you get. Most of my students' research and thesis work has some relationship to an ongoing initiative or project. A student who just successfully defended working with the United Nations environment programs in Panama, she's done such a good job that she was actually hired right after or even before she defended to broaden that practice and the use of those methods to, uh, to other communities in Colombia and Peru. I work in animal welfare, so I'm going to look at the well-being of animals uh, kept in farming systems, but I need to do a lot of ethical work. So the fact that there are a lot of philosophers here and also environmentalists and legal experts will help me actually develop my own research and do really sound interdisciplinary work. We feel it's very important that there's a practical element to the education uh, and some hands-on experience. This is something that students very often emphasise to us in their feedback that they want a lot of this and we try and provide as much as we can. We have a number of field trips that are both educational and usually quite a lot of fun for the students to be outside of the classroom. We have for example a weekend field course in North Wales, the mine waste site, where the students are set tasks looking at pollution in water contamination of the adjacent land surrounding the mine so the students are taking samples they have to think about concepts like how many samples they need to take where they need to take them we then return to Manchester where the students then analyze the samples using the advanced techniques which they'll be using in their future careers The opportunity to be a student in the environmental sciences and policy department is quite exciting. You'll have a great chance to be introduced to environmental issues from a wide range of approaches. So no matter what your specialty coming into the department is, um, you'll learn a lot about environmental issues from a policy, management, scientific and technological perspective. Our students leave here with an incredibly vast network that is global. Our students end up working all over the world and doing interesting um, projects um, and also are employed in different contexts. So not only government, but civil society, research institutes, as well as academia. What you get when you come to our department is this incredible international um, rich network and also friends, good friends.